I'm Mike Dimas, and this is Pinball Shenanigans. All right, today I'm going to do a gameplay video on Stern's Galaxy from 1980, designed by the great Harry Williams. They made about 5,000 of these machines, and I'm going to do a little tutorial slash gameplay video. And first I'm going to cheat and use my fingers to demonstrate, and then I will try and execute the plan of attack um, the old-fashioned way. Okay, so what you want to do is build up your bonus and so this is your bonus but these are some good points too and they're very important. You want to knock down your sets of drop targets to advance your planets and they do various things so first time you knock down a set of drop targets Venus will light your 2x uh, multiplier. The next multiplier is lit by advancing to Jupiter. There are other ways to advance the planets though. You don't just have to shoot the drop targets. These stand-up targets on the right each spot a drop target. So this will spot your black, your yellow, and your blue star drop targets. And you can spot the red in the inlane. See that? So that advanced me to Jupiter. So let's do that one more time. We'll do red, blue, yellow, and then say we hit the black stand up there. Advanced to Jupiter, which now lights 4x multiplier. So Neptune will be the 5x multiplier. That's right. So, also, what you want to do is spell galaxy. Uh, that really just gets you an extra ball, though. So, if you're playing in a tournament, then you may not want to employ that strategy. So, you want to light up all the letters. So, the X and the Y are here. So, I need the Y. But also, you can get those letters in the outlanes. I advise not going for those. But here we go. You get the cool lighting effect and extra ball is now lit. So that is from Spelling Galaxy. And you get some incidental points too, nothing too crazy. But more importantly, every time you spell a letter of galaxy, it lights up the corresponding letter in the candy cane zone. And for each one that is lit, you get 2,000 points plus 3,000 for every time you go in there. So that you can build that up to 15,000 for one shot. I played in a tournament at Maple Pinball, and I basically lit up those letters and shot that over and over and over again, and I rolled the machine uh, for, for the victory. So that is a good strategy if you want to do that. I'd probably advise that and get some incidental targets along the way. Uh, the spinner and this 10X light are lit depending on which uh, where your bonus is at. So let's advance the bonus. You can use uh, this rollover target or this roller over target. They advance your bonus, but eventually, I think it's at 30,000. Oh, here we go. At 20,000, your spinner lights. So that's worth a thousand a spin. Again, depending on how juicy the spinner is, it could be lucrative. Oh, also, it looks like I have it set to alternating um, lanes for collecting your extra ball, which now will be the left in lane. So there we go, got an extra ball. That's usually not gonna be available in a tournament, obviously. So, uh, you can continue to advance planets. Let's do that. We need to get to Uranus, of course. Uh, looks like there's some sort of bonus collect thing there, I think. I don't really know what was happening there, but uh, no, it's not Uranus. It's Neptune. Okay. Let's advance to Neptune. And now we got our 5x lit. So, 5 times 22,000, you can see how the, the bonus builds up quite a bit. So, 
This 10x light, it was a little mystery to me at first. I was thinking that that applied to the saucer value, which is now at 2000. And that changes with spinner um, hits. So this is not multiplied. It says times 10x score when lit. It does not apply to the saucer value. It applies to your rollover lane. So instead of being 5,000, they're worth, instead of being 500, they're worth 5,000. So that's not really a big deal. I kind of don't really pay attention too much to the spinner. I mean, if it's lit, I'll go for it, but it doesn't stay lit very often because you're hitting rollovers, you're advancing bonus, various different ways, and your spinner is turning on and off. So uh, it's starting to get a little squelchy. I'm going to turn it off and on for now. Um, last time when I was just kind of practicing, I got it pitched. It get, got so high in pitch that next time I turned it on, the thing started screaming at me. So the soundboard didn't like that very much. Okay. Hopefully that was enough explanation. Let's try and see how the pitch is up higher now. See, it doesn't like the previous pitch there going on so i am going to uh, have to send in my soundboard i think to for repair it's uh, acting up a little bit anyway let's turn that down because we don't need that to be so obnoxiously loud okay here we go Oh yeah, pop bumper also changed the saucer, changes the saucer value, but I really don't pay much attention to that saucer value at all. I mean, if it lands in there, cool. You can try and it sort of, you know, that, that is basically your skill shot, the saucer, but it's very hard to get, so I don't even bother really. Uh-oh. Yeah, you gotta be careful about your nudges. Even though you got two in lanes, the ball likes to find the out lane uh, quite a bit. So this is the same style bottom that Stern used on uh, a few other games, like um, Wildfire, Stern Dracula. So if you played one, you played them all basically in terms of uh, ball control in the bottom zone. Oh, you can also do alley passes to try and uh, spot targets and whatnot. So this will spot a target when lit. And this spots a target also when lit. Let's double check. So this is not lit. Will that give me a drop target? No, because it's only the red target. So, ah, forget about it. So that lane there was worth 5,000 because my 10x value is lit at the top. So now I've got galaxy spelt in my candy cane zone. So see if I can do a couple clicks. Oh, there's a little bit of spinach and what 4,000 points for the saucer up there. At 3x bonus because I'm on Mars. You can backhand this usually. Now these are brand new plastics, so I find the ball likes to reject out of there sometimes. And I found that on other galaxies as well. This is not the only one that does that. And quite frankly, it's kind of good because it makes it a little harder to just rinse and repeat. Oh, see what I mean? I told you, it likes to find its way out of there. So yeah, basically we're talking about lanes, drop targets, stand-up targets, and candy canes when it comes to Galaxy. So even if you just close that switch up there and it bounces out, you're going to get credit for the Galaxy letters. I mean, I only have two lit there, so it's not really worth going for. Let's try one more alley pass. Whoa. Okay, we did get a letter spotted. Okay, I remember now. The yellow lanes, when they are lit, will spot 
a drop target. And it doesn't matter which one. The in lane, the inner, inner in lanes will spot only a red. See the red star here, red star here? Boom. That's how that goes. Hey, it actually rested in there. There we go. I feel like my, uh, my pitch kind of settled down and is back to normal. All right, so let's uh, try and advance some planets. We'll just kind of go for a little bit of everything. Like Once you got a few letters up top, then it's really time to start cashing in and just collecting your planets and bonus along the way. There we go. Ball two, okay. Almost tempted to turn the machine back up. I think I will. Now that I drain. A little bit of a bonus meltdown. So yeah, that skill shot, it's more of a luck shot, so I won't even really aim for it. Uh-oh. Okay, I need an L. So, it would be kind of cool to get an extra ball. So, got to get up there and just kind of hope to get my L. A little bit of nudging, potentially. Okay. Oh, see, the spinner was lit there for a second, but... I got some more bonus, so it uh, turned off in a hurry. I can't remember how the heck I got the sun special. I literally just reset all the settings on my Alltech MPU to try and fix that weird squelch issue. And now my settings are a little bit different than what they used to be, so... Oh, I think, I think it has to do with Advancing certain planets will get you special. What does it say here? Special scores a hundred thousand points. See, I want that. I don't want special to be a free game. Hopefully, if it's not set to a hundred thousand points, I got to do that because I'm gonna have some pinball action this weekend. A little funsy tournament. And uh, there's my L. No, you liar, liar. And it would be cool to have special be worth a hundred thousand just like stern stars when you get that special moving around the play field and you nail it you get a hundred thousand depending on how it's set up and it's usually set up for a hundred thousand on stars as it should be because it's chimes and once you hit that hundred thousand you get like the lowest pitch chimes dong 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 and it's pretty awesome won't quite get that same effect with solid state sound. All right, what do I want to do here? Uh, red lane, red drop target or blue drop target. Oh yeah, I still want that L, there we go. Now I need to hit the correct lane to get my extra ball. Galaxy, oh no, I'm cheating, I'm cheating. Instead of losing a ball, I got an extra one. Uh oh, and yeah, of course. Okay, one more ball, it's a cheating game. Galaxy Progress, I think that's gonna carry over again. I just changed all my settings, reset the memory on my CPU, so I don't even know what my settings are anymore. My high score to date is probably all changed. I know I'm cheating, but it would still be fun to try and roll this guy. Oh, there we go. So I got a candy cane value and I got my last drop target, which advanced me to 5x, really? Oh yeah, so planet progress carries over. That's pretty huge. Oh my, that's pretty fun. That'll make this game way easier to roll though. Like, I am almost gonna roll it, guaranteed. Let's see. Uh oh, I shouldn't open my big fat mouth. I got 50,000, 60, 70,000 in the bonus. 
Ah, there it is. That should be the old roll ski. I need one more A. Might as well try and get that blue drop target. Oh, almost got it. In the back door, there we go. Okay, so. That's gonna be the end of that, but. Hey, there we go. I cheated, but that's okay. It's fun. Anyway, hopefully that was enough info for you to kick some serious butt the next time you play your galaxy.